everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me. So, <clears throat> made a start on my secret garden journal. The papers that I've used are linked below. We've already done these two inserts. I'll link the videos to those below. And today we're making this one. Um, and this is based on a card fold whose name I can't remember but it'll be in the title. So what we've done here, we've got a belly band which slides off and then we've got this tall skinner insert. It opens like so and you've got this fun fold here. Okay, I've done it so that it would, it would stand up. Okay, like a card. Um, and then because we've done this section on the back, it means we also have a pocket at the side there for holding things. And then also I've also put a pocket on the back to hold a tag. So it's a bit of a long video because I was kind of making it up as I went along, taking the principle of the card fold, but um, doing it for a journal. Um, so get comfy and... Uh, Hopefully you will enjoy the video. I'll put that on in a minute. Uh, <laughs> while we make this fun fold insert for your journals. Off we go. So what I have done in preparation for this is I have printed on cardstock um, this lovely one with the little cluster at the side and I've printed one of the lilacs on the back. And then I have another cardstock one with the darker lilac pattern, which is floral. The camera might not pick it up. Okay, and that's been printed double-sided. So what I need to do, first of all, is trim the white borders off. I've already done it on all my... I haven't worked out the measurements for all of it yet, so bear with me. But I do know that this needs to be ten and a half inches on the long side. We can keep the height, the height can be anything, it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. So if you're not using the same size cardstock as me, it's irrelevant. You just need it to start at ten and a half inches long. Okay, so I'm gonna lose some of that some of that but it really doesn't matter and I might just save that because I might use that uh, as a like a strip for layering or collaging I might not as well <laughs> right so then what we want to do and we are going to need to score here because when you're doing any kind of origami kind of fold it needs to kind of be right Okay, you can do it by eye, but uh, my eyes are wonky, so we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. Okay, let me get my scarring tool. If you've not made one of these yet, check out my video and make yourself one. <laughs> it's amazing, it's a lifesaver. So we're going to scar at three and a half and seven. So, yep, so that should give us three sections of three and a half, so three and a half... One, two, three, yeah. One, two, three and a half, yeah. I'm just checking that I've got that right, because, you know, I might not have. <laughs> right, so we've got our scores. So now what you want to do is grab a ruler, grab a pencil, okay, and you're going to, from the top where that score line is, on the score line, you want to measure two and a half inches. Okay. Which is about the I'm just gonna I'm just gonna actually fold mine so I can see what I'm doing. There we go, that's better. Two and a half. So you know, I try and do things where it doesn't matter what size your paper is, just follow the principle. Two and a half. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to do it at the other side as well. So we're going to do, so here we've done it from the top down, here we're going to do it from the bottom up. Two and a half. And pencil that. You can always rub it out. And then, where you've got these score lines, okay, so on the top one, your pencil mark is here. So you're going to score with your ruler and your scoring tool from there 
to that corner and to the to that corner okay to the end of the second to the second score line and then at the bottom here you're going to go from the pencil mark to the corner and the pencil mark to that bottom of that score line there so you're creating two triangles one that way one that way seasoned card makers will know where I'm going already with this okay it's not difficult it's nothing new but I just thought what a fun way to make a journal insert if it works. If it don't work, it'll never see it like a day and I won't show you my video. <laughs> because I'm not one for, you know, being organised enough to do samples for everything. So it either works or it doesn't. <laughs> right. Okie doke. Super simple, right, so let me just grab a drink of my brew, sorry. So we fold in the top one, so I start and fold along that score line, get crisp to the corner, okay, and then this side get crisp to the corner, and it'll start and just fold on its own, okay, so it just starts and folds on its own. And what you want to do is get yourself a bone folder, where's mine, it's in my toolbox. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip and line that up best you can. Okay. Give that a press. Do it both sides. Okay, doke. Then we're going to go to the bottom one and we're going to do it the opposite direction. Okay. Trying to stay on your score lines. Not always easy with patterned paper, but if you take your time, you'll be able to do it. It's easy. Okay, you can see already it's starting to fold. Alright, so then just lift that up and fold it over and then just fold it into place like so. Alright. That right? right, that one's going out, this one wants to come in, I've folded it the wrong way, not to worry, just pop it the other way, just pop it the other way Amanda, there we go, there we go, lucky for me I've got cardstock that don't crack, so basically you want one going out, that way and this one coming in like a duck right okay and then that all folds like that okay now you can just leave it like that but i just like the idea of having an extra piece of cardstock there for some reason and i think it might be an opportunity to add a small pocket so what we're going to do is i'm going to try and work out how to do it let me see. Let me have a think. So three and a half and three and a half, that is seven. So my cardstock wants to be seven wide. Seven wide. Scored at three and a half. I'll just use here. I'll just use my I'll use my trimmer track. Okay. Right, need to cut that funny angle now. So that's going to go on there. Let me just fold and burnish. So I want to stick that on there. Yep. So it's just this angle here that I need to. That angle there that I need to um, work out. I'll work it out in a minute. Let me just turn that over because you've got a, no run it that way. I've got a white border there. Never mind. I'll link it and hide it. Right. So 
let me think how I'm going to do this now. I'll tell you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to just cut, replicate what I did previously. So I'm going to go from the top down to two and a half, which is there. Yeah, and then I'm going to go up to there. I'm just going to go a little bit further, I think, am I? No, I'll just layer it over, it'll be right. If it doesn't fit, then... Uh, if it doesn't fit fully, then I'll just trim it. It's, it's no bigger. Yeah, two and a half. I'm using my pencil. I'm going to get my scissors because I can't be bothered using my trimmer for everything. Alright, and I'm just going to cut under ever so slightly underneath that pencil mark. Right, then I'm going to just lay that over the top. Yeah, so we're ever so slightly under. Let me just see if it's all going to fold. And it is. Yeah. So then what? So then that will come up. It'll come up. Let me just think. Do I need to do out to that side? No. Right. Let me think now. So that's going that way. That's going that way. See, I want to be able to see that cardstock underneath like that. I just think it's pretty. Um, so let me think now what am I doing? This needs attaching. Yeah, it needs attaching there. I am going to just trim off an eighth of an inch, not even an eighth of an inch, just a sliver. Off there and I'm going to trim a sliver off there and I'm going to trim a sliver off there just to make sure it don't catch when it's folded. Whoops! That's my trimmer on the floor. <laughs> okay, so let's get to gluing. All right, so that's going up like that and that's going to go back. So I'm going to fold it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing here, guys. I do really, I do, I do. Right, so I'm gonna glue the top of that one. Because remember, I'm doing it because I want, you know, I want a pocket. So let's have a think. I want my pocket. I want my pocket at this side here. So, for there I'm just going to glue the top and this bottom bit. Yeah. So I'm going to glue the top, the bottom and then just along the edge. Yeah. And then on this one I'm going to put my glue on my paper. And I'm just going to do it kind of in the centre of that panel at the back. Yep. Yeah. Easy peasy, <laughs> she says. Watch it, I'll be wrong. Then I'm layering my cardstock over. I've got a small increment to make sure that it doesn't catch when it's closing. There we go. Alright, and then it should all just fold shut like that. It should line up. Mine's a little bit off because I've done two layers, but it don't matter. We're just going to give it a burnish. Yeah, and then I should have... See, I just wanted that. I've done. You don't even have to do that. I've done that because I just wanted to see a pr pretty paper there, like that. And I just think that's an interesting fold. And then we've got a little pocket in there when that's dry. Okay. So what I might just do to indicate that we have a pocket is before that dries fuller. 
fact I'm just going to lift it off before it dries and I'm just going to put a little thumb notch in there to show that there's something in it. Okay, and then glue that back on and then leave that to dry before I decide what is going to go in that in there. But we've got a little pocket at the side there now and we've got that lovely origami fold. Uh, what's it called? Something beginning with M. I can't remember its name. Can't remember its name. And then you can um, decorate it. So then when you open it, obviously you've got journaling. You've got your little pocket there. You could put something on the back there. A little pocket, maybe. A little... Oh, we could, couldn't we? We could put a little pocket there. Let's have a look what paper we've got. I like that idea. So I think I'll just use the this one. Or shall I use the card? No, I don't want more cardstock. It's going to be too bulky. So I'm using the collage sheet because it's just easier. Now we're not using that because that's on the front. So how do, deep do I want my pocket? That's three and a half. So I don't really need any more than about two, two and a half, two, we'll do two and a quarter. Oh, we're going to cut that butterfly off, that's a shame. Let's get that butterfly in and then cut from the other side. That's the only thing with them collage, you know, I really want that butterfly on, so two and a quarter. I'd rather lose some of that picture there than lose my butterfly. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we can, so it's not going to be a true pocket, it's just going to be what you call it an insert, an insertion point so that you can slide a bit of something in. And I'm just going to trim it until I've got a little bit of a increment. Let me take another so that I can see that lovely patterned paper behind a little bit like when you're layering for mini albums and stuff you do this but there's no reason we can't do it for journaling as well so there we go and now you can see that lovely paper around so I'm going to just ink this piece now I haven't decided what which distress ink to go for I really can't I'm, do you know, I'm going to be boring and I'm going to go with Vintage Photo because I just can't make my mind up. I got out some, um, you know, milled lavender and tea stain and all sorts and I just could not make my mind up. So we're going to have Vintage Photo, folks. It, you know, it's universal. And I may well use <coughs> other distress inks, other colours and other things. You don't have to stick to one. So let's get a little, th uh, what have we done with that punch? Let's give ourselves another thumb notch. Just makes it easier. I'm not too worried if it's not central, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then all we need to do is glue this on three sides. You could strengthen this if you're worried, but I don't want it to be too bulky, so I know I'm not going to put anything heavy in that pocket. It's just a bit of fun, really, more than anything else. So that's going to go layered on there. Cut. And I might put some little tickets or something like that. Something that's light, lightweight. Yeah, okay. And then we could put something in there when that pocket's dry. Now to keep it closed, because I'm going to put it in a pocket or something, I'm just going to do a little belly band. So let's have a look what papers we've got kicking about. Uh, that's not going to fit. I don't want it to be too heavy either, it only needs to be thin. Right, so I'm going to just do, I'll move that out of the way. I'm going to do the full A4 length and I'm going to do it what? Uh, one and a half. Let's see what that looks like. One and a half. Okay. 
give this a really good squeeze. Just wrap that around until you're happy with the measurement. I just pull that around a bit. Don't need all that, Amanda. Blimey, anybody think you were wrapping the far Farth Bridge? Okay. Like so. And then by adding a belly band, you can also slide another tag in there or something. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. I'm just going to trim that. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I'm going to put the nice even edge that I've not cut longer. Make sure it slides up and down. Make sure you've got room so you could slide a tag in there as well if you wanted. Yeah. And then I'm going to use tape because it's quicker. Bit of tape on there. So, um, you know, I might just do a few videos. I'm not going to do a full journal process. I've explained, people have asked me loads of times, will I do a full, a full tutorial? People don't watch them, first of all. You spend hours making them and then people just don't watch them. Uh, because I think most people find them a bit boring. That's a bit tight. Um, don't matter, we'll go with it for now and I'll change it after the video. Oh, it's not so bad. People don't watch them. I don't know if they find them boring or find boring or what, but they don't watch them. And um, I'm quite slow when it comes to crafting with my journals. So you'd be there. I'd, I'd, I'd have about five million episodes. Right, so I think I'm going to have one of these labels. Not that one, that one's boring. Or should we have a little one of them? thing is these are on cardstock so these are more sturdy. Let's have a look what we've got. Ooh, that's pretty isn't it with the little birds. You will have that. Give it an ink. I'm probably just going to ink that belly band. I'll do it now. So yeah, this video will be long enough. Probably when people see how long it is, nobody will watch it. And that is why I don't do journal process videos. I'm just not good at them. <laughs> because I am a make it up as you go along crafter. It's too long of a process. Um, however, I do have an idea in the pipeline. Um, I don't want to say too much. But I've got an idea in the pipeline of how I'm going to share some more detailed longer videos with some people there's your little hint with some people <laughs> so we'll see um it's still i'm still thinking about it not fully decided what i'm doing yet right so i would quite like a bit of lace on there actually and again this is another reason why i don't do journal process videos i change my mind way too often um, do I even like that now? No, not really, no. It's too dark. Let's have this one. Oh, I wonder what that would look like. Layered over. That would look pretty layered over. And then that on the top. Yes, that's the money shot. <laughs> Now I'm not going to waste lace and put it all the way around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it and I'm just going to stick it on the front because it's going to go in and out of a pocket. I'm not, it's just ephemera, it's not, you know, I was going to say going to the Queen but she's sadly no longer with us is she but you know what I mean. I might cut another piece and do it on the back after the video. I'm always mindful to not take up too much time and that's another reason why I am planning a way of sharing some of my what I do for those that do enjoy watching it anyway fingers on lips for now fingers on lips <laughs> It's 
when you're on YouTube, you can't really go into loads of intricate detail on things because you're mindful of how long you're filming and how long people want to watch. And so quite often, you know, I might want to add some flowers and die cuts and all sorts of stuff, but that might be a, you know, a bit of a longer process. And so I will very often do very basic things for YouTube where maybe I'm limiting myself because I'm thinking of the time. I know what I'm on about. Stop waffling, Amanda. Right, so I'm going to have one of these little... I like these. I think my friend Kay gave me these. Absolutely love them. Right, so we're going to have a word. So let me... I need to, I need to tidy up as well. I get in a hot mess when I'm crafting as well, which is another reason why I keep it basic for videos, because... I got a tish was. Um, words. Here we go. Let's have a look what we've got here. So I'm just going to tip them out. I think I want a butterfly. <laughs> I think I want a butterfly there. I'm having it. Get off. And then I might just add a bit of glitter or something. I will um, undo all of this after the video and ink all around my finger insert. I'll, I'll ink it all. Um, what? Get off. That bit of fluff will leave me alone. <laughs> Get off me. Right, so let's find a nice word. So I've done some on white and then some on the beige because I think sometimes... You can just want to have just a little white sentiment with just a bit of income. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, and I'm just going to ink that. And these little sentiments were done by Anja, who is over in my Facebook group. And she did a page of them when I released my winter uh, blues, winter shabby blues, I think she made them for. Uh, I think I'll have it here so that we're not covering up that there and then this little flower here I think we'll just have like that yeah which way around's that okay Put my glue here I hope my messy hair's not in the shot it's snowing today in England we're having a snow day uh, yeah, it's not uh, serious. We do panic in England when it snows. It's not serious, but, you know, I don't need an excuse to stay in. <laughs> so I'm staying in. Okay. So there we go. So there's a cute, quick and easy little insert for you. As I say, um, I've glued that down. My flower's fallen off. What the heck? Get back on. Um, so you could put a tag in there, you could put some extra ephemera in, you could do what you want. Okay, but yeah, it's all about, it's all about just interesting things for the recipient of the journal, or yourself, if you're keeping it for yourself, to open and look at. So there we go, nice and cute, I'll put lace on the back in a minute when I can be bothered. And then it opens like so, you've got interest there, you've got a little, you've got a duck. <coughs> You've got a pocket there, you've got a pocket there, and then on the back there you've got journaling as well, journaling space. So it will it will it would all fold flat like so as well if you wanted, but that's boring. That's boring, so that's why we're having it like this. Okay? So then it folds back up and then if your flower don't fall off, <laughs> flower don't fall off, this will go and I haven't done it too tight. I am. So just remember when you do your belly band, don't then go and stuff it full of stuff because then your belly band will be too tight. So there you go. A cute and interesting insert for you. So as I say, I won't show every single process of my journal, but if I do interesting interactive inserts or pages, I will come and I will share with you. Um, and I'll do intermittent videos to show you the progress. All right, so there you go. The images that I've used are obviously my secret garden kit. It is linked below, blah, blah, blah. You've heard all that before. 
don't forget to go and check out these ones as well especially this one this one's super fun all right so that's three we've made now um to go in our secret garden journal i'll see you again soon this wires didn't wear bye for now